I'm Kainton the Genius and today I'm going to start from lesson one and I'm going to be teaching you RStudio and it's going to be really practical. I'm going to be very fast. So let's get started with lesson one. R set up and your first command. So let's set up R and then write a few commands and also tell you how to get help from R. So this is what we are going to cover today and maybe a bit more. We are going to set up, we are going to set up the IDE or we are going to get around the IDE, see how we can get help and also working with sites and collections. Then how do we use R scripts? All right, so I'm going to end this presentation and I'm going to go to R Studio. Before then, let me just show you how you can get R Studio. In case you've not downloaded it, so just simply go to rstudio.com, rstudio.com slash, uh, it should be products, and you get to this place, download, and you can get it for free. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more gets like this, or please click on the subscribe button to below so that you subscribe to my channel and you don't miss an update. Because gradually, in maybe one or two months, we are going to get our own R and be able to use it to solve machine, machine learning problems and data science problems. So just subscribe and let me know if you have any challenge. So you can download the free one. The free one is very good. You can use it to do almost everything you want to do. So just click on download and that'll be fine. Me, I already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do is to just go ahead to open it. So if I scroll down in my program files uh, area, you can see RStudio and just go ahead to open it. So one, once you open it, you can see the IDE is very rich. Uh, it gives you different sections. So let's see. So, uh, it takes a while, a few seconds. Perfect. So at this point, you have uh, 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 so okay. Okay. So you have certain things here. You have this section that say talks about R, and you have uh, R is a free software. Uh, you can type demo. You can type help, and so on and so forth. So the first thing I want to do, uh, I'm going to first click on home here, and then I'm going to play the screen or the workspace at this point. And to do that, I'm going to press on my keyboard, Control L to play the workspace. So at this point, let's now get around in the IDE. Let me just show you around in the IDE. The first thing I want to let you know is that we have this section and we have this section. So this section is a console where you can type commands. Let's say X is equal to five is equal to three and stuff like that. So it's just like a, a console where you type commands and get the output. Here you have the terminal. So this is like the Windows command uh, line prompt that is uh, kind of embedded into R. So there are some things you maybe want to run from the command prompt. You can always just use the terminal instead of going out to the command prompt. So this section you have files. So you have uh, files, this like your file system so this is where your plots uh, will appear. For instance, let me just demonstrate. So if you have, let's say, x is equal to, I'm going to explain this a little later. One, two, three, four. And then we have y is equal to three, four, five, six. And then I can just say plot x and y. So at this point, you can see that x, uh, y is plotted and it automatically shift the tab to this point so that you have the plot right here okay so what of packages packages is also kind of modules that contain a collection of functions that you can easily use for free so one thing I normally like to use from here is the free data sets because there are data sets that are create that are here that you can use for free and we are going to be talking about it a little later for instance the mask we have also, they okay. They have a few other ones. I'm going to show you a little later. For instance, the ISLR data data for for an introduction to statistics learning with application in R. And then we have help, so you can find help here, and you can find uh, the viewer. So more like it supports the plot uh, tab. So one thing I'd like to also show you. For instance, I've used the command C in this place. Uh, so what is C? Why should I use C? So to get some help about what C is all about, you can simply type the question mark and then the function you want to find uh, get information about. So at this point, 
question mark C is going to tell us what C is all about. So in this case, it tells us the description is C is a generic function which combines its argument. So in this case, I have C and I have 1, 2, 3, 4. It, it takes 1, 2, 3, 4, the arguments or the values, the parameters, and forms them into a set. So at this point, if I if I want to see what I have x is equal to c 1, 2, 3, 4, and I want to see x, you can see that it tells me that it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So in case you don't know, C stands for concatenate. Concatenate means combine or join together. Alright, so now we have C is equal to 1, 2, uh, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it possible that we add x and y? So let's see, x, z is equal to x plus y. So what will be the content of z? So now if you do x plus y, it's going to add the corresponding items together and that will be the result. So in this case, we have 1 plus 3, you have 4. We have 2 plus 4, we have uh, that should be 6 and so on. So if I check the value of z, uh, I, I can say z, and you can see it gives us 4, 6, 8, 10. So that is how uh, the, the addition operator works on sets. So again, c is a, a function used to create sets or collections or matrices, as, as the case may be. After now, we talk about two-dimensional matrices, three-dimensional matrices, and later in subsequent lessons, we are going to be talking about Pencils. All right, one thing I would like to tell you again is uh, I wanted to show you about something called the R script. So how do you put everything you've been writing into a script? Let's say you want to distribute everything you've been writing, all of these, how do you put all of them in a script? So one thing you can do is to type them into a script. So let's take, for instance, if I say x, Meanwhile, let me just shift this a bit upward and I'm going to press Ctrl L on the keyboard to clear the screen so that I'll let it illustrate what I'm, I'm talking about. So if I say x is equal to c, 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, and I say y is equal to c, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I say z is equal to x plus y and then I'll output z. So this is a, a script I've written. Now how do I run the script at this point? The first thing I'm going to do is to save the script. So just click on the on the icon here to save it. So it saves it in the document folder. So let's call it tutorial one. Tutorial one the car. Alright so I can just call it tutorial one it's fine. It's going to give it the correct extension. So once it's, this is tutorial one See what is going to happen if I type tutorial one at this point. Tutorial one. So tutorial one. Okay, so let's say tutorial one dot r. So it says not found. So the reason is because I need to save it in the right workspace. So I'm going to just come here and say. Um, Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to talk about workspaces in the next tutorial because I'm running out of time. So let's talk about workspaces. Where do you actually save your files? At this point, I'm going to thank you for viewing and let's continue in the next lesson. Please uh, remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel.